is your midweek this morning with Eamon and Ruth, and we've got another friend in the studio who we're going to... Who we, you can't ignore. You can hear. It's lovely to have you in the <laughs> studio. Lovely. It is Thank lovely. you. Thank There's you. There's so much lovely. energy and loveliness. Well, you know, you've got to bring the vibes. Do you know what I mean? You've got yeah. to bring the vibes. Well, talking about the vibes, yeah. um, today is a birthday day uh, for one member of the royal, royal household. It is Prince George, and we, Prince George, has turned seven, and you're going to see these special pictures uh, of him here. And to commemorate him turning uh, seven, uh, Alison has got this to say. It's your birthday, happy birthday, yeah, it's your birthday. Just made that up. Yeah. It's amazing. Thanks. It would be nice to get his name in there, oh, George. Yeah. Do a film right there. George, it's your birthday, <laughs> happy birthday, yeah, it's your birthday. Yeah. Do you know you that. can charge 40 quid a time for that now? Do you reckon? So, celebs going and people will, yeah. will get Wishing in touch and they'll say, happy if you sing that for me and they'll send you 40 quid. Right, I'm going to shut up now. No more. <laughs> <laughs> 40 quid. And the but, picture, actually, the pictures were taken by his mum, the Duchess of Cambridge, as she likes to do. And I, he looks... He looks a, a bit more age. grown up, Seven's doesn't he? It's a good age. He? A good age. And is, what, 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 what are you doing here, incidentally? What well, are... I just thought, you know what? I want to um, give one of my mum's recipes. I, I'm giving all my secrets away, really, oh. today. So I'm doing pork chops, because I know that you love pork he chops. He loves the pork chop. Really? I honestly could lick my lips over well, and over again. That's what I'm doing. I hope chop. you enjoy it. We're doing Do you pork know, chops. Do you know, Alison, I'm not allowed to cook pork chops. Why? Because if you could have seen the state of my hob and the kitchen floor after he had... Oh, OK. Well, so we are to live in a Fried show home. We have to have a show hall. No, it's not... I don't live in a show home. I cook every day. Well, what, what's wrong with you cooking and me cooking? What's because the difference? You, because you do everything on a fierce heat. Alison, on Listen, fierce guys, heat. Listen, guys. What way do you do your... I'm going to do pork chops that you can... It's not going to be messy. It's just going to be really simple. No mess whatsoever. You're going to love it. There's going to be sweet mashed potato, a little bit of broccoli, and then pork chops. And if you are vegan, this recipe you can use on tofu as well. So it's, it's all in the spice. It's so all about the seasoning it's all and about preparing. The seasoning. Just Tuning late. And your mum's recipe, so that's lovely. Yeah, in fact, obviously, I don't prep all this. Julia does backstage. And literally, I walked in today and it just felt like my mum was there. I was like, yeah, God, she will be. Yeah. The smell Marie will be looking feeling. down. And if you mess this up. I know, I'm in yeah. trouble. <laughs> OK, OK. Thank you very much, Alison. Thank lovely. You. Now, it's very kind of you. I really like that. Now, controversial also, topic. Yes, and what is it now? What well, is it? we're going to be talking to a woman who says uh, would, she would refuse to work with someone because of their weight. What, like she wouldn't work with me? Well, I don't know, because I don't know what her criteria is yet. Well, she's a fitness writer and her name is Samantha Yardley. And um, basically, she's got some, some views that um, may be hard for a lot of people to digest. Mm -hmm. but. The thing is, does the truth hurt or is she bang out of order? She'll be telling us uh, her views, what she thinks about people who are too heavy in about 10 minutes' time. I didn't mention you. I didn't say a word about you. <laughs> didn't bring you into it. That's right. But do you know the thing, Alison? Seriously. What, Seriously. darling? It's, this is going to be very controversial. Go on, go on. Let's have a bit of controversy. Yeah. It is. But I thought you were going to ask me a question. No, wasn't got, no I'm, saying, I'm saying talking to this woman, and it may be hurtful, I think, as well. So what she's saying that if you're big, she doesn't want to work with me? Because you're lazy. She thinks well, that if you're well, overweight... Well, I'm not going to be funny. I'll, I'll give her... Come, come and train me, babes, and let's have a laugh. I'm telling you, we're going to have fun, and I'm not lazy. I'll probably run rings around you. Come and train me, babes. Yeah. I'm yeah. up for it. Yeah. How about that? I do okay. looking well. Thanks. Cool. You know what that means, though? What? <laughs> when someone says you're looking well, you know. <laughs> you know. Al Alison said to me, well. Alison, Alison said to me before we came on today, she said, <laughs> you're looking... I mean, I don't mean this <laughs> in a bad way, she said, but Ruth, you and Ruth are now about the same size. <laughs> She said, no, so I don't know if that means Ruth's got bigger. <laughs> no, or she I'm, I hope it didn't mean that. It was a compliment for you. You look great. What? Are you sure she hasn't grown to be my size? <laughs> right. You know what happens with couples? They, they become... They morph. They, they, they morph into morph. one, so you look like each other. Well, now. you need to be coming down. I'm okay. not coming up. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and